right, so we did not cover the Casimir Kaskisuo new contract with the Nashville Predators earlier on this channel. But now that we have another goaltender entering the Toronto Maple Leaf system, it kind of makes a little bit more sense to combine these two ideas together and just talk about them in the same video. So, first off, it was indeed that Casimir Kaskisuo who signed with the Nashville Predators. He was a guy who was with the Leafs for years, and now he is eventually going to make his way over to Nashville. If you're a Leafs fan, you don't need me to tell you who Casimir Kaskisuo is. He is our vlogger, the guy who was making some pretty good vlogs inside the bubble showcasing the bubble life talking about watching the team all that stuff he never actually was a legit nhl starter anytime in his career he did play one nhl game he had a six goals against average and an 842 save percentage not amazing but he's garnered somewhat of a fan favorite reputation through his vlogs and his overall commitment, I guess you could say, to the Toronto Maple Leafs organization. He was with the Marlies in 2015-16. Then he was still on that team last year, too. So he was with this organization for a while, and now it looks like he'll be going over to the Nashville Predators farm system, the Milwaukee Admirals, and he's a guy who did sign a one-year 700k contract, so it's not really all too much. Furthermore, Aaron Dell, he's the new guy in town here in Toronto. $800,000 for one year is his contract. He is a 31-year-old goaltender who split the reins with Martin Jones in San Jose last season. Now, we spoke about earlier how the San Jose Sharks acquired Devin Dubnik, and their plan was to head into 2020-2021 with Dubnik and Jones as their pairing. And a lot of people were saying that could be one of the worst potential pairings in the entire NHL, but what the Sharks are doing here is they're hoping that at least one of these guys bounces back. Aaron Dell, on the other hand, was the guy who was left out. He was with the Shark squad last year, a 907 save percentage and a 301 goals against average in 33 games played. If you check out the Sharks last year and their overall goaltending situation, then yes, Dell was indeed the better goaltender between him and Martin Jones, statistically speaking. But of course, because Martin Jones has that status as a guy who used to be very good in the NHL, Dell was unfortunately the odd man out. And hey, he still had a pretty good tenure with San Jose, all things considered, because he was a guy who was in the NCAA, he played a few years in the AHL, but when he made his NHL debut in 2016-2017, man, a 9-3-1 save percentage and a two goals against average in 20 games. That's great. Like, that's really, really good right there. So, what they're getting here, the Toronto Maple Leafs are, in this Aaron Dell acquisition, is another guy to play behind Campbell, and for the foreseeable future, Frederick Anderson. He'll be there as the number three, if not just a Marley's guy. It is only an $800,000 deal, so you can't really expect a no move or a no trade or whatever. This is just a depth goalie signing to help out the team. If one of Anderson or Campbell gets out, then hey, you got Dell to come in as a backup. He was pretty good as one of the San Jose Sharks goaltenders last year, and they were a bad team anyway, so you could really expect that if a guy like Aaron Dell is either playing in the AHL or playing with a better Toronto Maple Leafs team than San Jose, he will probably get better numbers, who really knows? But of course, best case scenario, you don't see Dell play a game in the NHL because in an ideal world, you'd say that you want Campbell and Anderson to play all the games, nobody gets injured, nobody underperforms, and you don't need to get a guy like Dell to come in, but in case that does happen, he is here, and he is a guy who was a pretty good goaltender in the past. So, talk to me in the comments what you think about Aaron Dell going to Toronto and Casimir Kaskisuo saying his goodbyes. I hope you enjoyed this video, so that's Rolls and I and I, and bye.